Hello everyone, this is Amruta Bhandari. Today we are going to talk on the topic Eigenvalues and Eigenvectors, which is one of the topic of Engineering Mathematics 1. So to begin with, first we must see what are the, what is the definition of Eigenvalues and Eigenvectors. The vector x is an eigenvector of a matrix A and lambda is an eigenvalue if Ax is equal to lambda x. The interpretation means a linear transformation implied by A cannot change the direction of the eigenvectors x but only their magnitude. First let us see the properties. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors are only defined for the square matrices. The eigenvectors are not unique. The sum of the eigenvalues is equal to sum on the elements of the principal diagonal and the product of eigenvalues of a matrix equals to the determinant of the matrix. These two properties are used when we find the eigenvalues and we have to check whether the eigenvalues are correct or no. If we find the sum that should be equal to the sum of the elements on the principal diagonal and if we find the product it should be equal to the determinant of that matrix. The eigenvalues of an upper or lower triangular matrix are on the main diagonal. If lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda n are the eigenvalues of A then their reciprocals are the eigenvalues of A inverse. The matrix Ka has the eigenvalues k lambda 1 to k lambda n. The inverse exists only if the eigenvalues are not zero. Now these were some of the properties. Let us see the applications where these eigenvalues are used. One of the applications is Google. Google uses the eigenvector corresponding to the maximal eigenvalue of the Google matrix to determine the rank of the page for the search. When we when there is a Google search, a rank of the page is there. In for that rank, Google uses eigenvalues, eigenvectors. In vibrational analysis, the eigenvalues are used to determine the natural frequencies of vibration and the eigenvectors determine the shapes of these vibrational modes. In structural engineering, the eigenvalues are used to determine the structure as deformed under the application of particular force. Eigenvalues for a structure are measured before and after the application of the force. If there is a change in the structure, that means if it, if it has gone some deformation, that means if there is a change in eigenvalues. This is used while they build a bridge etc. For a face recognition, it is commonly used for the face recognition. It is used for dimensionality reduction in the face recognition and other machine learning applications. The eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix are used for measuring the uh, financial data. That means in the risk management, they can be used in predicting the stock prices and analyzing the core and analyzing them between the various stocks of different companies. There is a branch of mathematics known as random matrix theory, which deals with the properties of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. It has an extensive applications in finance, risk management, meteorological studies, nuclear physics, etc. These are the some applications which shows that the topic eigenvalues, eigenvectors is really important in engineering. So now let us see how to compute the eigenvalues first. Computing eigenvalues. To find the eigenvalues of a matrix, we have to find the roots of the characteristic polynomial. What is a characteristic polynomial? A matrix A will be given to us. We have to find A minus lambda i. What is i? i is the identity matrix. Once we compute A minus lambda i, the, equate the determinant of A minus lambda i to 0. This will give you the characteristic polynomial. So let us take an example now. Let A is a 3 cross 3 matrix as given over here. We calculate A minus lambda or lambda minus A as follows and then we find the determinant of this. You can pause the video, find the determinant of this and get back to it for the answer. Hope you have found out the video. Now you hope you have completed the determinant. Now you can see that for calculating the determinant by this is a bit lengthy. You have to take lambda minus 7, cross multiply with these two entries, 
then you take 2 cross multiply with these two entries you take 14 cross multiply with these two entries but now when we see that lambda plus 4 multiplied by lambda plus 10 gives you a quadratic equation same way we get a cubic equation if we multiply by lambda minus 7 so computing all the like terms we'll get a we'll get a lot of calculations to be done this is also one of the way to find the characteristic polynomial hope you have got the answer like this lambda cube plus 7 lambda square plus 15 lambda plus 9 there is an another way to calculate if you don't want to find the determinant of such huge values there is a shortcut way to find the determinant there is a shortcut way consider a matrix a which is of order 3 cross 3 only three values we have to find that is s1 s2 and determinant of a what is s1 s1 is the sum of the diagonal elements that is addition of a11 a22 a33 the sum of all these three elements give s1 s2 is the minor of a11 plus minor of a22 plus minor of a33 addition of all the three minors gives you s2 and then determinant of the single matrix a once we calculate all the three we substitute in the characteristic equation which is given by lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus determinant of a equal to 0 this is the equation for the 3 by 3 matrix same equation same way we can calculate for the 2 by 2 matrix which is given by lambda square minus s1 lambda plus determinant of a equal to 0 your s1 is the sum of the diagonal elements of the 2 by 2 matrix now let us consider the same example as we saw last time that is this is the same 3 by 3 matrix now let us try the shortcut method calculate s1 you can pause the video and come back when you complete s1 hope you have completed s1 s1 is the addition of the diagonal elements which is equal to minus 7 next task find s2 s2 is the sum of the minors of 7 minus 4 and minus 10 this is the addition of the minors of the diagonal elements what do you mean by minor how to calculate minor let us see how to calculate the minor first minor of the first element 7 is given by minus 4 into minus 10 minus 7 into minus 1 so we cancel out the first row and first column to calculate the determinant of this second minor of minus 4 we cancel out the second row and second column and then we calculate the determinant of this four elements then we cancel out the third row and third column whatever four elements we got take the determinant of these four elements the addition of the three determinants gives you the answer for s2 which is 15 last remains is calculating the determinant of a now determinant of a as everyone knows how to calculate but let us see how to calculate the determinant take the first element leave that row and that column and then take the cross multiplication of the four elements which is here in this case it is 7 minus 4 into minus 10 in middle we have minus as it is a determinant and minus 7 into minus 1 this is for the first element next we choose the second element which is minus 2 but for the second element we have minus so it is minus of minus 2 and then multiply by these two elements which is 5 into minus 10 minus 7 into 5 lastly we have minus 14 we multiply with 5 into minus 1 minus 4 into 5 you can pause the video and get the answer for the determinant hope you have completed the answer and you have got the answer as minus 9 since we have got the answers for s1 s2 and determinant of a we will substitute all these three values in the characteristic equation which is given by lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus determinant of a equal to 0 to get a characteristic equation like this since we have got the characteristic equation and only task remains is to find the roots of this characteristic equation if calculators are allowed to you you can directly find the roots of the calculate of this equation by using a calculator 
Now, but let us see how to find the roots of this equation by synthetic division. In synthetic division, we have to take the coefficients of all the terms. For example, for the first it is 1, for the second it is 7, then it is 15 and then it is 9. Once we take the coefficient, we have to take any element over here. This is a trial and error. For example, if we take 1 over here, we have to copy the first element as it is, multiply 1 with 1 and write in the next entry. Add these two, get 8, multiply 1 with 8 and write over here 8. Add these two to get 23, multiply 1 with 23 to write here 23. Add these two, now you have got 31, which is not 0. Here you should get 0, that is our motive. If we don't get 0, that means 1 is not the root of the equation. Let us try with some another number. So if 1 is not the root, we can try with minus 1, 2, or minus 2, 3 or minus 3, our motive is to get 0 over here. Since this is not root, we have not got 0. Next number I try, minus 3. Let us say that I try minus 3. We copy 1 over here, minus 3 into 1 gives minus 3. Add these two to get 4. Minus 3 into 4 will give you minus 12. Add these two to get 3. Minus 3 into 3 will give you minus 9. Finally, I have got 0. So, here minus 3 is the root of this polynomial. So, the cubic equation will be converted into quadratic equation having coefficient 1, 4 and 3. So, the same can be written as lambda square plus 4 lambda and plus 3. How did we get lambda plus 3? Here we know that lambda is equal to minus 3, one root we have got. So, lambda is equal to minus 3 can be written as lambda plus 3. And solving these, this quadratic equation, we will get final two values. One value we have got by synthetic division. You can pause the video and get the all the three values of lambda and then check back after some time. Hope you have completed. Now let us check the answers for the lambda. These are the roots lambda plus 3, lambda plus 3, lambda plus 1. So finally, I have got the eigenvalues as minus 3, minus 3 and minus 1. So this is the characteristic polynomial of this, this matrix and these are the eigenvalues. How to check whether the eigenvalues are correct or no? That we have seen in the properties. If we add these three eigenvalues, that should be equal to S1, which is correct. Minus 3 plus minus 3 plus minus 1, that is equal to minus 7, that is your S1. And the product of these 3, that is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1, that is minus 9, which is equal to determinant of A. That means our eigenvalues are correct. So, this was the video for the eigenvalues. In the next video, I will show you how to calculate the eigenvectors. For now, this, this one example, we can take more examples and practice for eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubt, you can leave the doubt in the comment section. Please subscribe my video for more mathematics video. Thank you so much.